I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update, swearing on television. Straight ahead in the Fox Live, a new fucking mother whore. Shit! This ship is one of those thousand-foot shitters. Keep fucking that chicken. <laughs> this chick is so bad shit. I, I want people to buy me book and fucking book. Oh, oh, oh. You know, there used to be seven words that you just could not say on television. One of those words was shit. You're gonna say shit on television? You can't say shit on television. But, as of 2020-23, the FCC says if your show is rated TV-14, then you can say, shit! Well, shit. I think I will. Well, just so you know, people, this show is TV f So today I want to start off and let you know that the state legislator and the courts in Arizona are full of shit. This week they reaffirmed a law that was enacted in 1864. No, I did not make a mistake. They reaffirmed an abortion law that banned abortion and made it a crime and the law is from over a hundred years ago. This is the shittiest Back to the Future sequel ever. The decision from the Arizona Supreme Court, all full of shit Republican appointees, by the way, concerned a law that was on the books long, long before Arizona achieved statehood. Is that even legal? It outlaws abortion from the moment of conception, you know, unless the mother is dying. And it makes no exceptions for rape or incest. If Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. Doctors prosecuted under the law face fines and prison terms of two to five years. Again, a law from 100 years ago. How full of shit is that? The law was written before slavery was over. I think all of us are happy that you can't grow cotton in Arizona. I mean, well, not all of us. Here's how full of shit Arizona is. Arizona out Alabama to Alabama. Yeah. And well, it's because the Republicans are full of shit. If you believe you have the right to take my wife's rights and my daughter's rights, then frankly, you're full of shit. If you think that a nation created by immigrants shouldn't let in immigrants, you're full of shit. If you believe in bitch that censorship is bad, but you also ban books, books about history, sexuality, and or anything you don't believe in, <laughs> then you are seriously, righteously, and purely full of shit. And if in a country where our founding fathers believed in and spoke on the importance of the separation of church and state, but in the face of that, you start whoring a Bible with a declaration of independence in it, you are stupendously full of shit. If you go after a president's son for allegedly taking money from a foreign government with zero evidence, but don't even ask about another president's son who definitely got two billion from a foreign government, then frankly and embarrassingly, you are full of shit. If after 60 plus court cases and recounts paid for by the guy that lost, if you still believe the election was stolen, you are insanely full of shit. If you think that the bankrupt Four-time indicted, 91 felony-having, pussy-grabbing, three-time divorce, sexual assaulting, Putin-loving imbecile was sent by God. I think he's been sent from above. He was put in here for a reason. He is a gift from God. That I truly believe that that was divine intervention in 16. Then thou art sinfully full of shit. And if you think that the rest of us who love this country who will bleed for it, who watches a fat orange blob type 2 diabetes sufferer tried to end democracy, democracy my family fought for, who called our soldiers suckers and losers, if you think we won't make sure he's never president again, <laughs> then not only are you full of shit, you're mentally ill. And our Arizona Republicans, you really shit the bed on this one. You took rights away from half of America. And you think that's going to help you win? <laughs> How full of shit can you possibly be? Special thanks to the FCC. I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. God, it was great to just call it out. You're full of shit. If you believe any of this stuff, JFK is coming from the dead. You're full of shit. If you believe medical stuff, you're full of shit. You're full of shit. Hey everybody, Christopher Titus, Titus Podcast. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening. If I seem a little stressed, yeah! a little on the ragged edge, we are building sets. Uh, Kylander and I, we were, I was here till 10 o'clock last night building sets all day. Kylander got here early, started building sets. We are building sets for the special that we're filming this Saturday. You know what today is? Wednesday. <laughs> we're fine. We're fine. Uh, with me as always, the lovely bombshell Ray. What's up, people? And the Highlander. <coughs>
<laughs> there could be only one. You guys yeah. are both covered in sawdust, and it looked like dandruff, so I had him brush. Thank it off. you. I, well, I was waiting. Both. I was all waiting for night. you to show. You said you were going to be here, and I, say, I said, I said, I said, I can't believe you said all night. I said and an you hour. Didn't break into all night long, but you said you were going to no. be. I said, I said an hour, and then you said, no, it's not going to take me an hour, and then it took you an hour and ten minutes. Well, to all, I said it wouldn't take me an hour to get ready. I said it would take me half an hour to get ready, but then it took me forever to get here. Because Springsteen, we did see Springsteen. I was behind a dump truck in our neighborhood for four miles. I go out the back way now because there, I found a new way out. Sure. Anyway, uh, he was past that. We were past Springsteen. That. Springsteen, you sang the wrong all night. Oh, I thought you. I thought you were bringing up uh, Lionel Richie. Why all night, night long. No. Why would I bring up all night and Springsteen? Because he played all night. He Spirit didn't stop. of the night. Spirit of the night, all, all night, night. All, night. All, all night. night. We were so having fun at Springsteen. We took Mr. Gardell and his lovely wife, Patty, and my friend, they Amber. Drop. And my friend, Amber, and I are... Drinkers. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. Well, that night we did... Mm. We and by did during intermission. Qui- oh, no. No, pre-show. So we drank no, in saying, the car it's on the way show. there, and we had to finish the bottle because we couldn't leave it in the car because it would go bad during the show. Springsteen plays oh, a long time, so yeah, it yeah. was really food safety. Well, you can just start it as regular juice, and at the end of the show, it's wine. That, yeah, that exactly. That's how, that's how long Springsteen's <laughs> other. But I will tell you this, with nonstop, and can I, I, I want to... Uh, put out a shout out to the amazing Nils Lofgren who hooked us up and to oh my gosh, the beautiful amazing. and stunning and talented Patty Scalfa and Mr. Springsteen for letting us. We got to go backstage. Uh, uh, and then we, so we, got, with, we had two different we we hung out with passes. Nays. We had NL for Nils cool. Lofgren and we had PS so many, for Patty Springsteen. We so many, so many VIPF has a confused security. Yeah. They were like, wait, that's <laughs> okay. But here you see? Got, I don't. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> we went into, you know, us. We're like, excuse us. Uh-huh. So elbow Oof. our way through and it was, it, the sign said, Patty's lounge and so she had this big room set up backstage in the oh, arena and Amber goes leaves us we were talking to Nils he came to hang out with us for a few and Amber goes rushes to the uh, bar <laughs> she comes back she's the- like this is Camus conundrum they've got Dom over there we're opening that next it was crazy mm. so I yes. love that so I'm like <clears throat> I like I like I am I feel like an imposter all the time nope, in those situations they're like get rid of she walks <laughs> in the band's warming up she goes, I got to the bathroom. She asked, she didn't go out to the outside. There's a bathroom right no, outside no, the door. Security told me to go that she way. She goes, no. I said, there's a bathroom. She goes, no, there's one right here. Where's, where's the bathroom? And that's how that went down. So she goes down. She I'll comes, tell you what happened. She comes around the corner and. I went around the corner first outside of Patty's l- lounge sign. And that security guard there that told me I was a Charlie's angel said, you don't go that way. He goes, you go to this bathroom right here. That's how I ended up going around the corner. It's got rainbows. And, and I turn the corner and little Steven is pacing back and forth. The whole band, they're all kind of, because it shows about to start. They're all like yeah, hanging all out there like that's yeah. a bathroom some of them are using. And I'm just like, excuse me, excuse me, get out of the way. I'm now. VIP. Who are you? Way, pretty. Oh, no. See, I'm pretty, never like that. I'm just like, hey, guys, we're no, all the no, same, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Pretty girls. <laughs> they, they don't need a pass. Yeah, like you, you and I, they're like, they're like searching us. You got they're lifetime VIP. Like, Spread them. We're going to find it. <laughs> yeah. we, we know you got a gun. They're, Do you know what I did at the end? I can't say the word because it'll get jammed up. Well, maybe not now. When we were leaving, we get outside and there's a barricade. Well, we're, our car is right there. And like, they li- won't let people go through. So, can I say the most dangerous shit I've ever seen at the forum? Yeah. So everybody comes out of 30 doors. They funnel them down into one thing and then out mm-hmm. one little area. Well, on this side. That's not fire code. On this yeah. side, there's literally a 30 foot opening mm-hmm. that's blocked with metal things and people standing there. We could all, oh, we could have rushed it. I said, let's guys, we can, we can take them. And then <laughs> and this lady, I go, let me handle and it. And this lady goes, you first. <laughs> so I go up to the guy who's standing there and I go, hey, can you let me through? And he goes, oh, I'm sorry, I can't. This is for disabled only. And I go, well, my friend is the R word. Yeah. And he goes like this and mm-hmm. bursts out laughing. He goes, go, you go. She goes, Patty goes. Then Billy and he get up to the gate and he goes, you can't go. And Billy's yelling, that's my fucking wife. Pretty that's gross. my, and I was like, shh, shh, let me smooth talk him. That guy was like, no, sir, you can go and around. And then he stopped me again and I go, I go, I go, you know, some men need to grow a penis and I walked away. So we, we got our shots in. <laughs> we got our shots in. But I will say this. It, it's it's women uh we you know we get abused we get this women get in anywhere just by going 
you guys, it's crazy. You just have to be nice to people. I that's think. not it. At okay. All. Yeah, that's not. You guys you know, are not nice. What in the world? What world does she live in? That, you know, I'm just nice. No, that's not it at all. <laughs> Move, of, bitch. Because we've I'm seen nice. Yeah, we've seen bitches get in because <laughs> yes. of the way. Yeah. Oh, is that Hardcore true? bitches <laughs> just walk in. Excuse me. Go ahead, babe. <laughs> Hair just pulled somebody's well, hair. Five I just minutes. went up to people like the security guys in the back hallway. I went up and introduced. Hi, I'm Rachel. What's your name? What's your that was Nathaniel oh, right was outside the door. He was ago. a sweetheart. Yep. And I just people treat people like shit. I found. And so like even when I had that girls pajama party adult Easter egg hunt thing last week, the next day, Rosa, our housekeeper, who's family to us, she was there to kind of help out. And mm -hmm. I just like having Rosa there. Mm -hmm. And she called the next day to tell me which two friends were extremely kind to her. And I thought we also heard about who were, who were raging <laughs> C words. We found that out, too. Um, and they're out. But I thought, man, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know, like some people are unkind just for no reason. Like, you, know, you know what I found out though is like when I when I had Titus, you know, everybody kind of got everybody. It, Titus kind of blew up a little bit, and, and when it started blowing up, and people got people got a little bit arrogant. Yeah. What I what I found out was, I like I would treat the guys at the front gate. I would all Maybe the guys. Your ex wife. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, my, yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Up in the was it in the matrix? Machine? All black, all black leather too, like a rehearsal. <laughs> Zach still uh, says she showed up like she was in the matrix. Uh -huh. Fucking white snake video. But I learned that you treat the people that make the operation run the best because without them, it all comes to an right. end. Right. And, and and you know you can write all the jokes you want. You can be as funny as you want. You could write the best script, but if you don't have the the guys that let you in the gate, the guys who run security, the crew that builds the sets. The nuts and bolts. Right. Yeah. They 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 hold the whole shit together. And when if shit goes down in that arena, which happens sometimes lately, those guys are gonna make sure I know where the good exit is. You know, <laughs> <laughs> just cover my She Covered bets. her own self. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's uh, how nice. Oh, I would run a grandma over <laughs> to get out uh, that. I will exit. say this, people. Uh oh, Springsteen is 72. He played, he hasn't insane. lost a step. It was insane. insane. Uh Nils Lofgren played harder. Insane. We got to see Tom Morello. Tom Morello came in and played Ghost of Tom Joad and 41 Shots. Legendary. Uh, Nils it, did a solo. Uh, his solo during <laughs> because the night was like, we were just all we all stopped. We were like, because they had a get a oh they had a giant screen with it with a with a close up and you watch how he plays and I'm like I play a little guitar you play way better than I do and I was like I should kill myself now <laughs> I need to just burn my guitars because there's no way I'm ever Nils um, one time came to the Phoenix Stand Up Live story. you retell stories all the time go ahead and it's been a long time so he was that the guitar that. Pawn Stars guy had given you. Yes. No. And so Nil says after the show, we'll plug it in. And he's in the green room, but the audio obviously is in the big showroom. It no. shows over. And Nils is in the green room. Nobody can see it. Him, it actually wasn't Nils. Playing. Nils is just playing. Nils didn't say plug it in. The guy that oh. ran sound goes, watches, oh. sees Nil play for like three minutes and goes, hold on. And can he I runs out, in? runs a chord from the mm -hmm. soundboard of the club. At, through the hallway to the green room and goes plug this in mm -hmm. and i'm in there and the staff is cleaning the tables and stuff and people go who are those people in there playing because it sounded like three people playing yeah. guitars together yeah. and it was nils with his two hands you can do it a little yeah, bit yeah, yeah. he was playing the bottom three one thing and yeah, the yeah, top three. yeah it was yes. he's it, it, yeah. he's a savant man yeah so it was great in Springsteen. I, I figured out what Springsteen does. I watched it. I was trying to because I get because we're doing we're filming the show on Saturday, and I got to how. What's my best performance? What can I? How can I be inspired at this Springsteen concert? Springsteen plays like it's like they've they like no one knows who he is. Mm -hmm. Like he's there to win. Mm -hmm. He play. He comes out, turns this arena into a nightclub. Yeah. Where he's nonstop. He's pissed if you're not into the show. Yes. Yeah. He he fires you up, and he doesn't have to. He could literally. Put a stool out, sit there with an acoustic, and we would all watch. Mm -hmm. This motherfucker, he go. It's it was it was so over the top. At one point, I'm like, what well, gave me hope for being you know, out to 72? I'm like, okay, all right, uh -huh. all right, 72. I can keep going. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, and he he, you're right. He doesn't play like you're in an arena, like you're one. Because Jen was thinking about getting tickets, and she goes, but I'd be way up in the nosebleeds. And I said, it won't matter. He because they have the screens too and the yeah. way he performs it does feel like you're in a nightclub he fills some room yes he fills yes, the yes. arena which is which is uh weird because his songs are so anthemic and yes. they become yeah. like it's a fucking it's arena yeah. Yeah. music yeah. like you i was for the first time i saw him live i was not i was straight into rap and hip hop i mean i still am but i i was like i you know, i'm not here to see 
you know, right, Bruce right, Springsteen. Right, right, it was right. just, you know, and then I was like, holy shit. Yeah, yeah, when he see- played Rosalita yeah. and it was just like, That's Billy's okay, song. I'm into this. Billy goes, if he plays Rosalita, I'm done. Yeah. And he started Rosalita he and Billy was Rosalita. like, oh, And it was shit. like a hundred thousand people were just Crazy. like, rah, rah, yeah. rah, but, you know. You know, he did the same thing. I saw him in Australia uh, in an outdoor soccer arena. Uh, same thing where you just like, uh, 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 where you, and, and the power kept going out. Uh, they would nice. play, of and course the, the, everything went like the whole band shut down, does it three times. Now, at one point, Springsteen gets pissed. Well, that's because it went like for days, and you know, it has to reset the whole <laughs> venue. They had, well, people got to go home, <laughs> yeah. No, it was like five minutes, it kept going out, whatever, oh, yeah. had, whatever sound thing they had going. So, Springsteen finally stops and goes to the mic and he goes, You know, everybody, I want you to know something if you're out there in Sydney, Australia tonight. I need you to turn off your blow dryers. I need you to <laughs> shut off your televisions. I need you to turn off any electrical. Titus, turn off your goddamn any, any, generator. Any electrical <laughs> appliance that you have because we got to finish this show. And then he grabbed his guitar. Then it went out one more time. And after that, he grabbed his guitar and I saw the angriest solo. I, he played for, He played a solo, just cranked on his guitar for like four minutes. And it was not a, I don't remember the song. Like <laughs> I, I just remember he just played the angriest yeah, yeah, shit yeah. he could play, got yeah. it out. And then he finished right. the show. Uh, so what w- we're saying is if you can because he's 72 and i felt like even he was playing like this could be our last tour we don't know you know go see spring scene even if you are in the very back row of an arena go see yeah, spring mr there. neil said i asked him i go how are you guys i talked to Nils yesterday i go how are you how do you guys do that i go how are you guys because the band it, it, people no one does what he does everybody in the band everybody everybody 201 is a master from the horns to the oh, keyboards yeah. to yeah. the violin. Mm. Everybody is like a virtuoso and he's in the front and, and you, and I started watching the band. If you watch him, everybody, it's like, you know, everybody's like a catahoula. Everybody's like a, a cattle dog. It's a cattle dog just watching him. Mm. Like, you know what? You get those dogs that are just like, just stare at you. They just stare at you like, like eh, eh. well, right before the show, we were with Nils. The show was about to start and he's still talking you to said, us. what is, yeah, but he's walking around with music playing out loud on his phone. Yep. Stones, Jackson Brown, like different, mm-hmm. which was kind mm-hmm. of interesting. And he goes, what's, what song are you opening with? He goes, I don't know. <laughs> they don't know. Spring scene just Go, calls quote, it. Yeah, he yeah, hasn't yeah. told us. Yeah. So well, we, they've rehearsed. I mean, they they've been know, doing it for a yeah. hundred oh. years. So she knows says that Springsteen sends him a list of songs. He sends mm-hmm. like thirty five songs. Could be extra. Yeah. Extra. Yeah. And oh. He says like extra. Not their mm-hmm. regular. No, no, no. He's got to know all those songs. And then he goes, Here, he, we might be playing these on tour. And he sends him thirty five, a list of thirty five songs. He opened up on the fourth with Boom Boom Boom. He did it. He did it. You know, open all night. Well, I clean the carburetor, baby, clean the jets. He opened with that, but he did it like Hot Rod Lincoln. He oh, totally cool. changed the entire cool. arrangement yeah. of it. Then he did 41, 41 shots 41 was crazy. Shots was... 41 shots was crazy. And seeing Tom Morello again doing, because we were there the first night it ever happened. Here's how crazy. cool Tom Morello is. So Tom Morello, he was the, he was the guy from Rage Against the Machine. He's a bad motherfucker. Yeah. He's sitting two rows in front of us and he gets done with his part. He's just been on stage with Springsteen. He sits down two, three rows in front of us and he's pumping his fist every song. He toured with him. He didn't just sit there like, and, and there's a lot of douche, LA douchebags were at that show yeah. that were just were like, this is interesting. And we mm-hmm. were standing, we, we were on our feet the entire time, yeah. nonstop. We annoyed the shit out of people, but I'm fine with that. May it's- or may <laughs> not have dumped multiple beverages on the, the backs people of the people in front of me. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Well, the, one of them wasn't my fault. Amber one decided she wanted to hug. Was it one of was And it I was holding a bit. <laughs> after the ones that were your fault? Because then uh, it really mine, doesn't matter. Well, they noticed that one because the whole bottle bounced off their backs with no cap mm-hmm. on it. But after that, I did it, and they were wet, and they didn't notice the red wine all over. Because <laughs> I was like clapping. Yeah. You know, once, know. once you're all wet. Also, it's all... if you go to spring scene, don't sit near me. Yeah, that's valid. Or him, to be fair. Um, I'm or Tom Morello. Okay. Ty, no, Tom Morello was in the comments. <laughs> we apologize for the but flies I, flying around I in thank here. Everybody. Titus has had the doors open. All Nils day. and Patty and Mr. Spring scene for letting us uh, have this go see them. Us it geek was, out. You know. We, I just we I always pay we, we always pay we pay we pay for tickets we pay for them but I, but then we get we got the go extra it was pretty fun uh, and then we, we found out Nils Lofgren and his wife are huge fans of Billy Gardell and Mike and Molly and they went crazy they called me yesterday like dude we love Mike and Molly we, I can't believe that Billy Gardell was there and I'm <laughs> like so awesome. you kind of think though like because Billy's been listening to Springsteen since he was little too just yeah. like him he's from Pittsburgh and so you think Billy's on a Chuck second chuck Lorre show he meets everybody right he goes he went to the emmys and all and you think he's probably desensitized he walked by me at one point and nils was talking to titus and he goes right 
I can't fucking believe this. Those are fucking crazy. That's like, cool. uh, he was That's so, so cool. geeked out yeah. about it. And then Nils, we had already introduced them. And then like five minutes in, Nils turns and goes, Nils Lofgren and shakes his hand. And I was thinking, uh oh, he's losing his memory. And it was because he just realized who Billy, Billy was. Because well, because Mike Amali, uh, Billy was Billy was an entirely different human yeah, being. Yeah, yeah, Billy's yeah, yeah. so thin. And so and then he, to have them say they're diehard fans and they're rewatching episodes of Mike and Molly together over and over. He was like, totally it made it. He, he, Billy had his fun night to wrap it up. People, if you can go see Springsteen, even if you're not a fan, I'm telling you by the end of that show, you will be a fan. She wasn't, she kind of knew some songs. Yeah. Knew For some, she saw him. She was like, we halfway through. She's you like, did a bit Oh about this. my God. I would do him That's in front like, of you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, just Speaking want you to know things that have been wrapped up. Yeah, abortion. Yeah. Abortion. <laughs> we are, uh, we are going back to, uh, the 1860s again, uh, because the Republican party always, uh, bring forward thinkers have decided, you know, what we need in this country, we need to go to laws that were, it, 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 we need Arizona to actually have laws that were made before Arizona was a state. Right. So, uh, and by the way, uh, slavery, still have slavery. Um, uh, witchcraft. Uh, so, yeah, witch Ray, good. stay home. Yeah, don't, don't leave yeah, the house. You, for sure you would be burned. Yeah, oh my be. God. You're, with your mouth, they'd yeah. be like, witch. She's a witch. <laughs> She's I not nice. I don't know nice. what you mean witch. by with my mouth, baby T. Gray, but you better watch it. Yeah, you see, that's what I'm talking about. You're a little snarky. Uh, four people are in custody now with multiple others reported there's a live shooter situation when I left the house. I didn't know if you saw Where? that. Where? Here in, in town? Philly. Oh, in Philly. Yeah, uh, they've now got four people in custody and have four. recovered multiple firearms. There was a group of people? Mm -hmm. Multiple injuries, they don't know yet. Um, obviously, that's an ongoing thing. As Where in Philly? Uh, it says West Philadelphia at the Clara Muhammad Square. I don't know where that is. Clara Muhammad Square. Is it a school? Like a? Is it like a... Oh, it was near a mosque. They were saying that, but then the news saying near a mosque, I'm like, was it one and a half miles? From yeah, yeah right. Right. Was, was it the front we, door? By the way, how do we kind of put the pin, pin this on someone who's uh, maybe Muslim? How do was we there do a that? tunnel under and it? Near, near a mosque. Mm -hmm. yeah, near, well, we, if it's the Islamic religious celebration going on right now um, that I don't want to say because I don't want to screw it up. Um, Ramadan? E-I-D Al-F-I-T-R. Uh, I'm sure you guys know how to say it and I don't, so let me know. Um, but anyway, people were welcome out to, celebrating. Welcome to Scared White Girl Tries to Say Words from Other Countries section of the show. Go ahead. It's interesting that this is offend people, so. th that this has even made the news because I went to a site. I did a video on mass shootings like in the US <clears throat> and there's like a mass shooting every few days, yeah. literally a few days. Yeah. Like, you know, but we make, don't report a lot of it. Yeah. That the it's fact not that every, this sometimes one, it's every day. We've had we've had more this year. We've had more mass shootings where four people or more were mm -hmm. shot than we've had days in the year. Yes, yeah. And last year too. Last and year we had more. We had like three. We had three eighty six or something, and three ninety something, which is more days than the year. And the fact that you bring up mosque might have something to do with why this one hit, made the news. That's an interesting. I mean, uh, not, not well, a conspiracy. That's that's you a, know you could you could imagine with all the because what's happening is we have this presidential candidate who's just talking major shit all the time, talking about uh, immigrants, talking about other religions, and talking about terrorism, blah blah blah. And you, uh, I hope who who they who are these four people did they catch? Were they? Uh, in, they're not they, saying. Yet. Did they have insurrection goatees? I'm, I'm wondering. Um, no, they they're not saying yet. Um, let's go back. Let's, all right. So, so we don't need. So Trump we'll says he would not sign this federal a, a federal abortion ban. He's right. So full of shit. Because the he polls, put out a video the saying it's came state. Out. It's a state thing. So did uh, Carrie Lake. The polls oh, came out. This she actually put it in um, the new governor. She who said was the AD, she said Hulk, uh, yeah, uh, Katie Katie Holcomb. Hobbs. Hey, Katie Hobbs. Katie Hobbs. Well, this is on her now to fix it. And I'm like, bitch, we have video of you two years ago saying that we need a yeah. federal abortion ban. Right. Trump, there's 15 different positions on video that you can go and see his position shift. Um, I yesterday I was at home and already just I don't remember. I was like, oh, <laughs> so I'm having a complete meltdown happening in North Carolina. And anyway, I was upset about that. And then this came on the news and I just, I felt like crying. I cannot even fathom you guys. 1864. That was a time before women it, were even allowed I'm, to I'm, vote. Can, can, I, can I have a question? 
-hmm. How do you reaffirm a law a state, that was written yeah. before it was part of the United States? It doesn't count. Yeah, it doesn't count. That's, that's out. a gimmick. That's, that's, that's where you right. started. That's, that's, be, that's another country. At the, wasn't it owned by Spain at the time? I think Arizona was owned by Spain at the time. So we're, we're adopting Spanish law from 1864 to a state that wasn't even part of America. What are you talking about? So Magna Carta is the next. Is that <laughs> exactly, the next thing? Exactly. Prima Nocta. <laughs> is that the so, uh, We found some paperwork that was on the Panda uh, Maria, the Santa Maria and the Pinta and whatever. And we're going to have to follow those laws now. You know, slavery. That's so why I said, thank God and the Armageddon update. Thank God they don't grow cotton in Arizona because Arizona be like, you know, slavery is okay mm -hmm. again. Feudalism, that's coming back. So Trump, so they've been polling this. So remember, you know, for my entire life, the right has been talking about abortion. They've been talking about abortion. It's kill the baby. Okay, okay, right. Got it, got it, got it. Um, and yet we had Roe versus Wade for 50 years. Um, and they thought once they got it, I don't know, the arrogance and narcissism of politicians and the arrogance and narcissism of people who believe in a book that was written 2,000 years ago. Um, and, and, and they basically locked down to that book. That you guys thought that if you guys took half of the population's rights away, half, women are half, 52% actually, took half of the pe people's rights away, that people would be like, yes, you guys are awesome. Yeah. What ended up happening was they said 76% or 78% of people believe that women should make their own decisions when it comes to this, mm -hmm. that women should have the right to make, do anything. That's 78%. So they get it passed. They 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 pack the Supreme Court with morons, uh, beer goggles. They've got a woman who's never tried a case, uh, and they've got you know uh, they got a guy who got a free motorhome uh, from a billionaire, Multiples. and then you got Alito who who basically is going on you know multi million dollar trips with another billionaire. Um, and now you've got the Supreme Court that kills Roe versus Wade, and now the polls are showing that, that it looks like the Republicans are going to get their asses handed to them pretty much across the country. <laughs> so, now, do you realize how bad you have to want abortion to go back? You want, that you want to control women's vaginas all the way back? Now, look, I want to control uh, 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 women's vaginas, but I'm a hands-on guy. Um, <laughs> so you have to cut to that look. Uh, uh, I'm just saying that like these guys are so afraid of women. It just feels like, it feels to me like you guys just need to control women. Like if they could take away women's right to vote, they would do it tomorrow. And it's weird that they, they that supersedes everything else that they, because it's not popular. Nope, it's already, not popular. it was nope. established 50 years ago by, right. back in a time when we thought we, laws mattered. Laws don't matter anymore, no, no, right? No, no. That's not those are gone. Not on the list, not even a little bit. Um, so why would they... Of course, we know they're not forward thinking. So it's not a popular thing. They're, they're, so, lose they're still elections. not forward for thinking. They went back to pre slavery. Yeah. They're backwards <laughs> thinking. The Heritage Foundation, which is where my sister is today, um, actually has a, a guy that worked under Trump that has laid out a plan for when and if Trump gets back in office that specifically deals with abortion. And it's like an eight or nine point plan. I was reading it yesterday, but it's like they're going to change the they're going to get rid of Planned Parenthood. They're going to change, you know, HHS name to the Department of Life. Um, they're going to put out an edict and affirm that abortion is not health care. Um, it was just like a whole bunch of things. And I just thought. You cannot say that it's not health care if you've never been in a position where you needed it for health care. And thank God you haven't. But a lot of women, women that I know that and women I don't know whose stories I have read have been carrying non-viable pregnancies <clears throat> already dead sometimes mm -hmm. um they start to go septic, they start to go septic too the women will start depending on what the situation is yeah. either they go home and wait and go through a brutally painful and awful and mind effing uh miscarriage or they have a, an abortion that's health care now there are women who go septic because there is this non-viable fetus inside of them and doctors are afraid to treat them because they could be arrested and so there was a woman that died about three or four months ago in texas because doctors were afraid to treat her and this law now there is no exception for incest or rape well i was just about to ask that. nope holy shit no exceptions um so how fuck? can you say 
I, I just thank God you've never been in a situation with your wife or your girlfriend or you yourself. I, I, I don't say you yourself because it's always men. It's all men. It's all white men, except for that one crazy ass black there's guy not, in North there's Carolina. There's no women going, we need to, there's, we need to, we need to stop all women's rights. There's no, there's no women. And what is it about with these white men that they believe that they should have the right to run women's by? I, I, I get, I get, oh, oh, it's killing. No, it's not. It's not. Li listen, this, oh, well, you guys, you have, you have uh, post birth abort abortions. That's that murder. Shit, I am That's so tired murder, of you that. Asshole. It is made up. The, as, quit as making I said, shit up. Full of shit. You're full of shit. You're quit full of shit. Quit making shit up. Yeah, you're full of shit. There's no such. It is against the law. You dip shit. And I'll say it again, nobody is gleefully skipping to get an abortion right. and then fist pumping the whole way home. It's right. a heinous personal choice that women make for a variety of reasons, about half of which are health care. And carry it for the rest and of their lives. And it's none of your fucking business. Amen. And that's really the bottom line. And so but while I have to sit at home and I'll say it again and be inundated between every fucking news segment with Viagra or, you know, Cialis. generic yeah. Cialis or the unnamed blue medicine that comes in an unmarked box. That so enough, if you tell me it's God's will that a woman carry that baby to term regardless of what happens to the woman or what the woman wants, then it's God's will that your old ass flaccid limp dick stay old ass flaccid and limp and you don't get to use that period ladies and gentlemen i'm tired of rachel the double bradley standard. ladies and gentlemen tired of the double standard but here's the thing how come men aren't 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 liable for all this how come men aren't yeah there's vasectomies uh, but but yeah you know but for getting the, way, the if, woman if you're going let, let's say this let's say you all right you're a dude you get a woman pregnant she has a baby you refuse to take care of it you have a vasectomy and you can never have another child right and it's it's government sponsored Let's say this. Let's say that uh, we have to start regulating because they wanted to find out when women were having periods. They were in schools. They yeah, were going to be I asking. All right. Every time you get a you get a boner, you got to you got to fill in a little spreadsheet. Right on there. Yeah. Oh yeah, my yeah. god. There is not enough Excel in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that data runs right hey, out. Hey, hey. <laughs> but also, I mean, yeah, you look at so like you're directly regulating what happens here. Yep. To me, and here. And well, here. you know why? It's because and it, there, here, but. When we find out that the stepfather raped the little girl and she got pregnant, we are making sure now that she has to give birth to her dad or her father or her step, uh, they're, they're the same, or her stepfather or her uncle's baby and d look at that for the rest of her life, right. that most heinous thing ever. Right. Um, but there's no other side repercussion to his dick. Or his vas deferens, or his butthole, which is where I think we should start. Like, I just don't understand. You guys can leave. I'm on I your, got this. I'm on your I'll side, you but I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm on your side. I'm on the team. But, I just, but I'm, I'm a little uncomfortable. I'm, yeah, I'm like, and I want to say this because I, we did have a guy write in, I can't believe you're against Viagra. You're missing the point. I'm not. I'm saying it. it doesn't go together how we treat women and how we treat men. That's well, what I'm saying. I, 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 uh, devil's advocate here. Uh, there is an abortion oh, pill, mifepristone. So they're- Oh, they're, they're working on getting rid of that. Yeah, but, but they're working on getting that around. Hey guys, let's be clear. And she said it right. You don't have the fucking right to tell anybody what they can do with their bodies. Anybody. Now, when it comes to men, the people, men agree with that. Yeah. When it comes to women, they're like, no, 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 they need some rules. Bullshit. Then again, <clears throat> all you, why? What the fuck? All you bitches said we didn't have the right to tell you same people. We couldn't tell you you had to take a vaccine to help save other people's lives too because right. it's your body. So help me understand. Make it make sense. But that's how it goes. That's what I talked about this. They're all full of shit. The Republicans yeah. are full of shit. Okay. Yeah, it's my body, my choice. Well, yeah, but that's, I know you were trying to be mocky, but you still- but you were still making you that point. still made yeah. uh, laws about abortion yeah. from 1864. Can I keep saying that? 18. That's you, what got me. You know, the good news is this. Here's what I'm saying. Thank God they did this because, uh, you know, they have that free time because they've solved hunger. Healthcare. They've solved homelessness. Border. They've uh, uh, solved health care. They solved the climate. border. They solved oh, climate. climate. Everything's perfect. And oh, I figure, yeah, well, yeah. what do we, they, you know, they're sitting around doing this. They don't know what the fuck they they're doing. They can't even get a budget. Let me just, oh, no, hold worst, on. Let can me I talk just, about the new Republican Congress? I do just want to talk the about that really quickly because I just had time. it open. 
Marjorie Taylor Greene is yeah, actually yeah. moving forward with her call Ugh. to remove Johnson as speaker. No. After that last fiasco, right? When they couldn't get anybody, they could barely vote Kevin McCarthy in 14 votes. Now Johnson's in. She's calling for his removal. He called for a vote today on that FISA rule to continue it, the surveillance rule. Donald Trump, all he did was in all caps, truth, kill FISA. And they, they effed him. They voted against it. Dude, Donald this, Trump is running those people. This current crop of conservative right wing Full is just the fucking most fascist. But here's what I don't get. Here's what scares me. So they're going full. They're going. They're just going full metal jacket. They don't give a shit. There's mm-hmm. no. Although although Trump did do this yesterday. He started. He goes. He goes. I believe the rule. The rule of the land should be the rule of the states. Whatever the states want to do. So he's backing off. He's backing off. He claimed for the he's last six months. Off. Let me finish. He claimed for the last six months that he's the reason Roe got I taken know. down. I know. Yesterday he goes, you know, I believe that the state should have the rights. Motherfucker, you did it. You claimed it. He always, we have video. He, he always wants both. He wants the she credit says that. and and the uh, and, and not the blame if something yeah. goes wrong. Exactly. Yeah, so that's that, how every if you time. listen to him, he says everything all in one sentence. He did it last night. We were watching John Oliver and John Oliver just went back to him like, what? No. <laughs> you did? You didn't? Or maybe it wasn't. What? Um, no, he's what he's doing. States rights is the, the last time we had a dispute over states rights. It really didn't go well for the country. Is what no, I'm it saying. did not. Uh, speaking of being healthy and living your best life. <laughs> okay. All right. It's obviously we're stressed because we have a show to do on Saturday. This episode brought to you by AG1. Oh, it's so good this morning. I, I got to tell you, I did just make a great smoothie this morning yes, with yes, AG1. Yes, and it's because um, uh, my favorite Peloton instructor, one of my two favorite Peloton instructor- instructors, Rebecca Kennedy, I was watching her in- uh, Instagram yesterday. She made a smoothie and she actually said, and it wasn't an ad, she said, I love AG1. I use that for my greens powder in this smoothie. And I made a s- kind of similar smoothie that today it was so good. Almond butter is the key, man. But AG1, it is, um, it, it's high quality greens powder. That's something that I really particularly love that they rigorously test what's in this. And you're going to get 75 vitamins, vitamins minerals, minerals, and adaptogens, whole food sourced superfoods. Good job probiotics prebiotics you just you don't have to take all those pills anymore and the most fun part is you can create these really good smoothies and it's done or you can put a scoop of it in the shaker bottle with a drop of that vitamin d3 and go about your day yep. it is a and you're done with your supplements pretty much supplements <laughs> yeah um and you know that it's high quality and high potency which i think is super important and it's not complicated and i really notice i've noticed a difference in my gut health i've noticed a difference in my just overall feeling of well-being clarity energy i use it um usually i do it right before i work out i always feel about half an hour later i always feel better i don't know if it's imaginary but i always feel more centered and I just better. You, well, it's got rhodiola, B vitamins for your energy support, folate, magnesium, ashwagandha for stress. Me, that that would be my overall feeling of well-being, I bet. Vitamin C and zinc for your immune health. You're getting all of it. And so I think you should replace your vitamin and more. Start with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five free AG1 travel packs with your first subscription at Drink ag1.com slash titus that's drink ag1.com slash titus check it out we love this company Mm -hmm. we pay for this they don't give us these for free we are on a regular subscription that comes to our door so that he and i can both have it we only use products that we use (laughs) remember that people when we ever when we're whoring stuff like every podcast does Mm -hmm. we say no more than we say yes but i thought it was cool that rebecca kennedy who i love (laughs) uses it too i was like Um, okay then so the armageddon update talked about how full of shit they are and 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 look we have a big election coming up and even people that were in the trump administration are saying i work next to the guy he is dangerous do not let this man how many people 40 well there's 41 now 41 out of 44 people that were in his cabinet were like no 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 the fuck this guy they worked with him he hired them so i say something about that really fast to agree with you that I, this something struck me so clearly the other day I heard someone say what hasn't happened to Biden not one person that was in his cabinet no, there's been no firings there's been no constant indictments. replacements no indictments 
And not one person in the last three and a half years has come forward and said, you should this not vote for this man. Yeah. Yes, go yeah, ahead. Uh, do you know what else also, uh, just to stay on that, is that they tried. It's not like they didn't try. They right. had they had how many committees going after Biden? Mm -hmm. And this is when I say, this is when I talk about how full of shit the right wing is now. And, I, and because I found out you can say full of shit, then, then YouTube <laughs> can't take it down. Um, they're full of shit it, they're full, across the board. When it comes to censorship, they bitch and whine about censorship. The censorship we're getting censored it's it's wokeness it's wokeness yet yep. you guys want to ban books mm -hmm. you guys want to take down take books out of libraries don't want and, to have yeah have have uh you guys want to ban history mm -hmm. you guys have mm -hmm. uh crt you come up with some by the way you give mm -hmm. give these fuckers three letters and they are off on running take away constitutionally protected Con rights Con to, yeah constitutionally protected rights so they're that's full of shit mm -hmm. then you talk about oh uh, we got to go after hunter biden hunter biden hunter biden for well, like it, it, they say at most it's three million dollars which they can't find any evidence and even people that were with them lev parna said no 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 they sent us to ukraine to f find out uh, to, to actually find evidence of it even if we had to manufacture it lev parnas who was working with juliana testified to that there is zero evidence that they and here's the difference between everybody okay so but wait so you go after the president's son who was never in fucking office never was a politician but you won't say shit about Kushner. the guy who Kushner who got two billion dollars healthcare. We're going to have a new healthcare plan. They could try it fifty times it just it just during uh, Obama to shut down the ACA, which is one of the most popular. Even Republicans are like, hey, don't take my healthcare, fuckers. Uh, so they talk about we're going to have a new healthcare plan that's going to be better. They never came up with anything. Full of shit. Comes on infrastructure. We talked about infrastructure week every fucking week during yeah. Trump. Yeah, Not that was nothing was passed. <laughs> nothing yeah. was passed. No infrastructure. Biden actually went to the bridge. It just fell down. They're already rebuilding the bridge. They're already getting it cut cut out. They're get, they've already opened up a lane for we smaller ships. We see it all ships. over the country. And yeah, and so yeah, because traffic sucks. Yes. Infrastructure, by the way, will piss you off. <laughs> but one day it'll be fine. So. They're full of shit across the board. They're full of shit on taxes because they want to give rich people. By the way, people, you should look it up. Uh, 2025, guess what happens? All those tax cuts that Trump oh, gave yeah. you, they've been phasing out for the last few years. Guess who they don't phase out for? Corporations and rich people. If you make a certain amount of money, you get to keep your tax cut. They just had him at a at a thingy at Mar-a-Lago huh? telling rich people who right. were there giving him millions full of shit that he was going to make sure full their taxes shit. stayed low. And by the way, every, it's full. You're full of shit. You're just full of shit. All your and then here's the thing: when you go, they go, you they go. What about what about this? Go, well, give me the evidence. That I ask all the time because we get comments on, on the thing. Right? I'm like, all right, I, please link me to the evidence. Yeah, I'd love to see it. No one has never Crickets. ever. Ever. Mm -hmm. Every Armageddon that we do, you tie us, you fool of shit. That didn't happen. You made stuff up. I go, please send me the evidence. After please. we put stacks of articles <laughs> yeah. in the yeah, motherfucking got, we, video. Like, yeah, on the video, it's like, <laughs> it's just coming up. And then, so you're full of shit. You're full of shit. Now, here's what, here's, here's what that does. Be look, there's a lot of people that survived the world for being full of shit. In this case, you're full of shit in a situation where we are going to end democracy. Orban came back the second time and he basically became a fascist dictator. These people, Putin, that you like Putin, right? Yeah, Putin's better than Biden. Are you out of your fucking minds? You're full of shit. So you're about to kill democracy. I heard some people in the interviews say, actually say this out loud. You know, maybe we need a dictator. Oh. Are you are you out of your mind? Yes, they're out of their mind. So, I don't understand how this group has any fucking support for anything. They're no. dumb and, and how can shit. we, as a country, get kick these motherfuckers out? We need sane people. Well, but here's okay. So here's the thing. So this whole thing that happened on the left, where people are like, you know, Biden's kind of old. Here's what people forget. People forget where we were four years ago. Mm -hmm. People forget so easily. Isn't I don't understand odd. it. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I don't. I woke up every morning, and I'm not exaggerating. I would pull up my sleep mask, <laughs> grab my phone, take a deep breath. Yep. And look at the breaking news, like, because it would be on my screen because it was every day something insane. So, I would grab the remote instantly and go turn on the news. Speaking of what? being me, oh. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> this episode brought to you by Butcher, Butcher Box. Box. Get incredible deals on awesome tasting oh. premium cuts of meat from Butcher Box. I just placed my new order. Which I just is also saw a company that I pay for. I also pay for it for my father. Who I also noticed that. the uh, chicken breast thawing in the refrigerator. I was excited. I am. Nice. I was going to make one of my brother's recipes. Mm, I'm, um, I'm looking forward to it. 
high quality meat and seafood that you can trust because it's 100% grass fed beef, free range organic chicken. The pork is raised crate free, wild caught seafood. I like this part. It's humanely raised, no antibiotics or added hormones delivered right to your step. That's the other part that I love with free shipping always. Um, so you can go and you can choose butcher boxes, curated plan, their box, or you can choose your own. And that's what we always do. And it's fun, isn't it? We were having a conversation yeah. well, about meat every, this week. Everything's so good. <laughs> and you, if you, after you do it once or twice, you're like, oh shit, now I can, I'm going to try these right. chicken, whatever these are, because yeah. these are going to be good. And then you yeah. get them, you're like, fuck, these are good too. You got- By the way, he's um, raising a young boy. He gets to order all the kid food. He orders like yeah, chicken yeah, nuggets and hot dogs. You got- yeah, I know you, um, no, I'm just saying you have cover. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> you got the chicken sausage breakfast sausage patties. In yes. the, and it's a big bag with yep. those. And I was like, oh, I should have done that. See? I almost did. But they have everything, you guys. And you can learn to make other things. because, And that's what I've started doing. Like, I'm going to find a recipe for that. Because I know it's the meat is going to taste really good. Even my brother, who is a grill aficionado, was blown away he was like what is this yeah and but there's the meat is so good you can just like single dad bachelor it you know yeah. what i mean and just yeah. fucking heat the meat up and yeah. like nothing you know with a yeah. fucking baked potato and you're good <laughs> you know is that how you eat your food yeah just smash it into <laughs> it uh, ken's, yeah. ken's the, either the worst commercial or the best commercial <laughs> <laughs> single dads are going okay yeah. okay yeah. let Everyone me hear like, them is out that how we eat? <laughs> um it's so much more convenient you don't have to go to the grocery store and it's it's less expensive by not having to go and in price. I don't know how they do it, but it's awesome. So today, ButcherBox is giving our listeners a special offer. Use butcherbox.com slash Titus, that guy. Use code Titus. Get $20 off your first order. That's butcherbox.com slash Titus with promo code Titus. I, um, I want to talk about, I, I took a screenshot. Hold on. I want to, I want to go back to something that you were saying about Jared Kushner. Can I jump back to yep. that? Because I think everybody needs to know about this. So you might remember him getting $2 billion from Saudi Arabia. The reason he wasn't mm. at J6 was because he was flying home from Saudi so Arabia clear, on that day. Well, be, be clear. While the government was being attacked, Jared Kushner was covering his ass and getting $2 billion from the Saudi government that the Saudi finance minister said, do not give this money. This and man is never, anyway. he's never run an investment fund in his life. So it's now a $3 billion fund. It's fi financed almost entirely from overseas investors that he met and worked with when he was an advisor in Qatar. the White House. Uh, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, yep. UAE, um, also, Terry Gu, the founder of Foxconn, that's that Taiwan-based chips company. Uh, he is also, if you don't find that concerning, he's um, working with one of his other partners is Shlomo Group. It's an Israeli car leasing and financing company. His partner in Shlomo Group is owns the company that produces warships in Israel. So I just wanted to say that we have a lot of conflict of interests mm -hmm. coming up and yet the democrats are not and this is what pisses me off about the democrats they should be screaming about this every day i get they're trying to they're actually legislating do you know the senate has passed the 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 aid package with the border stuff the senate passed it but mm -hmm. but the but the house won't let yeah. it go through what are you having to vote on it so you got marjorie taylor green this 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 human virus this herpy on on, on our entire situation here here in in america and she just keeps throwing a wrench into it. And Mike Johnson, um, some of the Republicans, I mean, the Democrats are going to have to back him up. They're going to have to vote for him. And, and I, I just, it's I, like, we got to get, so here's how I, I want to get back to what you it's said. It's not just that, it's Robert Menendez. What are we doing? Yeah, but he's, uh, he said he was going to pull out. I thought, I thought he was going to pull. Can I, let me say this. You said, how do we fix it? The only way to fix it, honestly, this time is to overwhelmingly vote Democrat. You literally got to stuff it up their ass so far because what's happened is, remember when they thought they were going to get 45 seats in the last election mm -hmm. and they got five? Mm -hmm. That didn't wise them up. They actually, then they started passing abortion, which you, you're taking women's rights away. L listen, whatever you think about abortion, that's a personal opinion, but you can't take Americans' rights away. Yeah, for some So, yeah. especially half the country. So, 
what you have to do. You want to scare, you want to get a Republican party back that's actually, you don't worry about. Because remember when we were kids, we didn't worry about it. There was two guys, one guy believed one thing, one guy believed the other thing, they, they, and they met in the middle and they worked some shit out and, mm -hmm. and everybody was unhappy and then the c country moved forward. Well, now you've got these psychos who are like saying that we need, uh, we need, we need the death penalty. They haven't done shit, by the way. The worst, worst performing Congress in history. Uh, worst Republican in history. So, you have to vote. And people, I'm not saying just vote for the Democratic president because that doesn't help. We've seen that doesn't help. All it takes is one House, one, one, one the Senate or the House to F it all up. So, you want to actually, now, the Democrats again, vote, vote Democrat across the board. What will happen is, I'm not saying vote it because they're the best in the world because what will happen is the Democrats will get cocky and they'll fuck it up four years from now. That's what always happens. But, if you do that, you will clean out the Republican Party and we m maybe have two healthy parties again in this country. You it's 19 people. So 19 people blew up that surveillance bill today that he thought the he had the, right. that he thought he had the votes on 19 people which means this is so now all these they're bitching about terrorists coming across the border but they that voted down the bill that would actually help cover the terrorists coming across the border the fuck are you guys doing and now You're she's trying to get him removed for uh, working with the democrats on getting that bill done right. and on getting the israel the, aid package the done. point of government but she, they, marjorie they taylor green's trying to get him but marjorie yeah they, you're right marjorie taylor green's trying to get mike johnson taken out for doing his job, which is to work with this thing to get they don't bills want passed. To work That's your anywhere. job. Uh, actually, Bob Menendez's trial has just been delayed over Why? his wife's. He's supposedly his wife is having health issues, and prosecutors are saying possibly in the summer. So you're going to say the prosecutor was dating. By the, the way, here's no. the difference. Here's the difference between them. Like Bob Menendez, all the shit he was he was literally getting money from Egypt. Like yeah. he was getting, yeah. like they were, and they he were, was on the he, they were, intelligence committee. They were like, greasing bro. him. And, yeah. and, and you can see his votes that went along with the money he was getting. This fucker yeah. needs to go. Yeah. But that's the difference between Democrats and Republicans. Democrats are like, this guy's a criminal corrupt. Get rid of him. Yeah. He Get rid needs, of him. He the Republicans are like, so? Uh -huh. So, okay. So we got <laughs> one. All right. If that's you're fine. a mess, oh God, stressed out too, but you want to look pretty while you're doing it, this you episode can't delay your trial. brought to you by One Skin. <laughs> oh, good stuff, man. This, uh, going into the special taping, look at Diva over here, how glowy I, and dewy I, he okay, is. Okay, so I've been using <laughs> one skin for a minute, and I will say this. Uh, I got new photos taken, and it's a guy who's known me for 30 years and doing the pictures, and he goes, <laughs> at one point, we're like, we're like an hour into it, and he goes, you know what? This is, he shows me the camera and goes, that's unfair. <laughs> he goes, as old as you are, that's unfair. This camera does not have Photoshop like built in. And I was like, one skin. <laughs> yeah, this is no, there's no filter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You it's, are a human filter. It just feels like so many other types of skincare are extremely complicated and you need a thousand different things. And right. that's not their approach at all. I like that it's female You, you got PhDs the serum, then you got, got the lotion, together. then you got the soap, then you got the, then the scrub. Yeah. Yeah. And so these women came together and they found this OS1 peptide and found that it actually reverses the biological skin aging by killing off those senescent cells, those dead cells. If you wanted to know all of the details, that's why. Um, I use it uh, on my, I use OS1 body, OS1 face. Yeah, you do. OS1 cleanser mm -hmm. and OS1 eye. You use that too. Yeah. No, wrong finger. Old man. Let's see. No, oh, I don't, I don't, dude! I get lectured in the bathroom. I'm putting some. I'm, I'm like wiping my face. Like, what are you doing? You're ripping the dermis. <laughs> what? My dermis is fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, that OS one uh, peptide also deals with. I told you the cells that cause lines, wrinkles, and thinning skin, which happens as we get older. Um, no offense. One Skin is the world's first skin longevity company by focusing on the cellular aspects of aging. It keeps your skin looking and acting younger for longer. So get started today with 15% off using promo code Titus at oneskin.co. That's 15% off with one at oneskin.co, promo code Titus. After you purchase, they're going to ask you where you heard about it. So make sure that you tell them that you heard about it from us. Good stuff. So I can buy a boat. I use it. By the way, uh, I want to go. So the guy, let's talk about the the abortion law in Arizona. William Claude Jones, Speaker of the Arizona House in 1864, wrote a total abortion ban, which is now in effect in Arizona. Three days after the legislative session ended, 
He married a 15 year old girl. He was 49. Um, I just can't. Holy shit. From, and this is, from this the is... grave, he is not. <laughs> this is funny to note. From the grave, he's not a side of reproductive rights for all men in Arizona, uh, uh, thanks to Trump. We have. But they were saying that the 1864, that was a time where legally you could marry children, like yeah. small children. And also, <laughs> they tried to pass that law again recently. Do you remember they're trying, that? There right? are, I think, five states with legislation on the table right now 12. about um, contraception. Oh yeah, wait, wait, wait. I want states states where you can marry states where you can marry. Oh well that too. That too. But and also back then the ch infants and the mothers, the mortality rate was like whatever. I don't yeah. know. I don't They're have trying a computer to get away me. with the uh no fault divorce. Um what else? That was created to protect women. Of course we just had somebody enter the room that <laughs> might have some opinions on that. Um, 12 states you can marry there's 12 states you can marry under 18 which i just i just i don't understand uh, legislation establishes the legal marrying age in virginia to be 18 that's 18 the law closes a loophole okay they fixed it that was a yeah underage loophole that they but closed some states where you we are like now 12 states down on that legislation 20 sorry 38 to go to end child marriage in the United States and eliminate human rights abuse. Wait, 38 to go? Yes. So we have so 38 you, states where you can marry under <laughs> <and> Jesus <laughs> what Christ. What the fuck? Yes. Jesus Christ. You know what's weird? You know women didn't vote for that. Dudes voted for that. It's all, this is all. <laughs> of course. It's all. Yeah. Like what is wrong with us? Like, what is wrong humanity? How do we not get better? We just have better shit. We just have better, we just have, we have just higher, higher tech, but we're still monkeys. It's amazing it's that a oh whole group of men that couldn't find a woman's clitoris have decided what we can do. <laughs> need to marry yeah, a kid. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, look, man, it was one of someone in our family is, I mean, the guy's 20, 22 years older than she is. That's it's why like, they need to control it because you can draw a map. You can figure out where, where things are and we can look at it when you need to. What? Yeah, well, you, we don't talk about it. Oh. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. So, I, I, by the way, how creepy is that? How creepy is that? Like, like, oh. like, and you had to vote. You actually had to vote. This guy said to go, no, no, no. I think, oh, what's your, if you're this marriage, because imagine the conversations. Hey, dude, did you see this bill they're trying to pass where you can marry kids? They were in a lit room yeah, in yeah, suits yeah, yeah, in, yeah. A, in a town hall meeting no, 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 with no, microphones. Wait, 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 let, let's see. The, so, you, dude, do you see the bill to marry kids? I'm, I'm voting no. What are you going to vote? Let me check my phone and see what You shouldn't be my, taking this much time. Hold on, you should I got be this voting. dating app. I what are you, you going to vote yes for this? <laughs> it's a just child. Give me, give me a you minute. Weirdo. Give me, you weirdo. You creepy give me a minute. fuck. Give me a minute. I'm gonna, what? I, I'm checking what, who's in my DMs. My <laughs> God. Hold on a second. You slid into my DMs. I like that you've you never said psycho. DMs, so you went, my DMs. <laughs> my DMs. <laughs> <laughs> You're so not cool. <laughs> this is why he's not dating. Ladies, Guys, we are filming Carrie Monster this week. I have actually... He's off camera right now. The, the amazing Chip Foose has designed Yay. the set. He also designed the first set for uh, Norman Rockwell's Bleeding. This show is the is my tent, so it's this word circle, and it's about my family. Uh, no politics in this one. You brought uh, in the Leonardo. I brought in the, the only. I, I have to be honest. I'm, uh, Chip Foose is the one genius I know. It's really. I know. Wait, I take crazy. that back. I know uh, Nils Lofgren too. I, I know a couple savant. people. Savant. A couple I, of I, savants. I, yeah, savant. Yeah. The stuff that he, I was telling him this earlier, that he tosses off. You guys, we should post this after he is the a special. <laughs> <laughs> to, to, to women's rights <laughs> tossing off it's crazy i had the girls party and you sent me the text with just oh this is what chip just drew you know at his desk or whatever and everybody was like holy shit yeah so uh we so he called it there we're, we're like, because we've been going back and forth on this thing as always we push it to the edge uh, we yeah, tried. I, we're three I, days I, away. I, 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 we were just. I was designing a month and a half ago, and then it finally. We're three days away, and with sets aren't built. They're almost built. And I, he goes, "What'd you do during the eclipse?" And I, and I, you know, I don't care about that stuff. But I go, I go, I jerked off, and I go, it was dark, and he just. <laughs> <laughs> <we're>, <laughs> My penis blotted yeah. out the sun. <laughs> it was dark. What the hell? And he goes, "Good reason." <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, we are, we are blessed. I am blessed in my life to have, uh, people in my life that can, that can help make it look cool. 
Yes. And uh, and and so I think we should have Saturday two shows El Portal Theater in North Hollywood yep. seven and nine thirty. After mm-hmm. the nine thirty, there's going to be an after party. Titus is going to do a strip tease, so make sure you get tickets. That is to not that true one. at all, and nobody wants to see that. We want people to go to the show, you not avoid said, the with show. One skin, you've been. Um, by the way, guys, go to uh, ChristopherTitus.com. Go to the contact page if you you know you can't afford a ticket, whatever. Go and we'll hook you up for one of the shows. Yeah, for anybody that if you just don't have that extra money right now, just email us tituscwi at gmail.com because eggs have gone up five percent that means they're now 385 prices are insane are they really corporate geek man corporate 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 (laughs) geek what (laughs) can i say this too this is where everybody's full of shit so i was listening the inflation report was rough today it was rough it went Mm -hmm. up so since biden's taken over inflation's gone up 19 Mm percent okay that's okay i got it but they're going at a time when prices were, they, they started from when COVID year, where prices were depressed because we had, the, we, no one was doing anything. I don't think you can argue that it, inflation is real and it's a problem for I people. Agree, right I now. agree. I mean, agree. But there's a reason. For me, I'm looking at the prices of stuff like what? But Biden doesn't make the, t- it, it, I know that. But here's the foolish shit part. Talk okay. about corporate profits. That's right, it. Right. Gouging. Corporate, pro- corporate, corporate profits. They used Highest it. in 50 years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, one more thing, people always say, and 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 we got busted on this. I remember when um, uh, Bush was president, people were bitching about gas prices. Gas prices went to the, the war in Iraq, blah blah blah. People were saying, and 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 the right always says this. Uh, they say it when you call them on it. They go, "Oh my God, you know what, man? It's not the president that doesn't set gas prices." I and and you know what? I agree. The president uh-huh. doesn't right. set gas prices, but maybe that's because the Democratic is now president. But he doesn't say gas prices. But gas prices, people keep bitching and bitching. I go, do you guys know that Trump cut a deal with Saudi in the middle of the pandemic to cut production by 2 million barrels? Yeah, like it's the De Beers. And, of the Beers. and currently, yeah. Biden, this administration has okayed enough. It's pissing off the left, actually, that, that we are producing more oil than Saudi Arabia in America now. So I don't. Listen, dumb people like like easy easy pictures. Dumb people like uh, mm-hmm. square block into square hole. It, everything is more nuanced than that. And the and the corporations saw the supply chain thing. They have now used it to raise their prices. I, again, we have to stop. Biden, stop talking about less chips in the Frito bag. Oh, people, stop, stop, you stop, gotta stop that. Stop. Yeah, I got an ice cream and it was smaller. <laughs> they told me to talk about the Chips Act. Yeah. So, <laughs> no, 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 no. This no. is what, no, no. Right? <laughs> Where am I? Why does your it's, Biden no sound joke. like Springsteen? <laughs> By the way, no <laughs> joke. No joke. It's no, no joke. No. It's no joke. No. You get a bag of chips okay, and stuff. Okay, we got it. Maybe we could talk you get about- a, You get a Snickers. Uh, sir, sir here's some ice cream. Right, you know, you know, there's a war About three quarters of an inch shorter than the Snickers yesterday. Okay, people are dying. People, it's like well, I'm on that too, but okay. the chips. <laughs> okay, but I got to keep my energy up. Got to walk down ramps. Got a lot of biking to do. Down, the other guy can't walk down ramps. I can still walk down a ramp. You live in New Mexico, no problem. Come see us April 26 and 27 at no Santa Ana Star Casino. It's actually now called Quezadas, and um, Quezada is the guy that played the DEA agent that was Hank's partner. On in Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. And I just forgot what his um, name was on the show. But anyway, two shows Friday, two shows Saturday there. I know there was some confusion with the website. Another fun night, May 2nd. Christopher Titus is kicking off the Netflix. It's a Joe Festival. I'm one of the shows. He's yes. going to be at the Kookaburra Lounge in Hollywood, California, May 2nd. So come to that one. And then another interesting date we've never done may 11th the memorial theater in mount vernon ohio that one i will be doing uh chunks of care monsters and breaking in new material where are you going to be this thursday and where are you going to be next thursday this thursday i will be at the irvine improv uh, that's right and chip and his uh, his lovely new lady kathleen are coming to the show which is gonna be cool and then i'm going to be in the ontario improv next week next Yay, thursday one right? show one night only both of one them show, yeah. one show one show one show one show one show one show this is why he doesn't do his own marketing. One show, one <laughs> People are going to be dead. You can't forget that. It's in your head now. <laughs> one show, one night. It sounds okay. like an East Street band one song. One what one is show. this? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Um, and uh, do go to ChristopherTitus.com if you want anything. Uh, we're going to be <laughs> doing. Ah, we've got. We're doing new shirts. We're doing. Bring a, it home. One of the. I'm, Highlanders I'm up. fun facts. Shut up. Oh, Highlanders fun facts. It's Highlanders fun, fun facts. facts. Yeah. Speaking of um, Chip Foose and other amazing professional talented people. 
<laughs> Your setups are Who horrible. doesn't? Yeah, sorry, it's fine. Uh, back in the old day, and mm. ba- speaking of back in the old days, okay. professional athletes used to perform in vaudeville during the off season. Would you like more information? Oh, on this, this is true. You know what? I feel uh, like this is the first time you also have read that. <laughs> you look yeah, surprised yeah. too. Yeah, I think would you like to I hear more he, about it? He's got funfacts.com. He just pops <laughs> yeah, it out. Oh shit! I better, I better, I better start. Hold on. Okay, <laughs> I was going to put a jar with like a bunch of fun facts in it. Yeah. yeah. By well, the way, this is true. This is true. Boxers and stuff would go on the road when they weren't bought when they weren't to make money, and they would go. And vaudeville was a. And the weird thing about vaudeville was. Uh, everybody stole. Everybody stole. So, like, some of these guys would get acts. Because you couldn't get caught. That were given, yes, because there was there none was of no that. Nobody there was no, right. hey, there's there's no photos. Yeah, there, yeah there, there was no Carlos Mencia's yeah. because yeah, no, and no one could record you. Yep. So, uh, so what happened was some of these guys would get 20 minutes of jokes from comics, mm-hmm. boxers, mm-hmm. you know, football players, whatever, and they would go on the road and they would tell their stories and they would tell 20 minutes of jokes and that was a show. Yep. And now we have the internet people that don't know. When does Mike Tyson fight that dumb guy? <laughs> I like that Mike Tyson's not the dumb guy. <laughs> yeah, no, you better. Anybody that challenges Mike Tyson. Is a, much dumber. Yeah. I agree. That's a good As that's you good said, one. when you met him and we were in Whole Foods one night and I've never, this is LA. I mean, they see people all the time. We walked into the front of Whole Foods and everyone that worked there was just huddled around one register going, oh my God. The room God, changed, God. man. The, like, we, were, we were shopping and, and all of a sudden there was this weird energy in Whole Foods. Like everybody's, every, people were like running past me and like, Oh, what do you mean? What's this? Because I think shooting. That's yeah. what I mean. You know. Yeah, yeah. And 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 I hear we hear Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. I'm like what? Mike so Tyson. he goes and looks for him. So I go to find Mike Tyson, which is the <laughs> dumbest thing possible. <laughs> and I go, hey man, I just want to tell you, uh, you've been an inspiration, and it's an honor to meet you. You've been through so much, and you've come out on the other side. And it's pleasure. And and he shook my hand. And dude, <laughs> okay, <laughs> a quick impression. I put my hand out. Mike Tyson went. <laughs> that's how yeah. big his hand was yeah. and i'm like oh that's why you not motherfuckers out because you were hitting them with a shovel that was a, glo- a punching glove yeah he, uh, he, he was glove. it was no. and that was just but his when normal does that fight happen that's coming up I right know. i don't Mike know Tyson posted some training videos and if I've, i'm if i'm jake paul i'm like nah jake paul that's nah funny. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Uh, d- uh, go to Christopher Titus TV to get all our content. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. For myself, the lovely bomb show right in the Highlander. Later. Peace out. Hey, Poochie. Boop, 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 boop. All right, bye.